Listen to that sizzle. That is so good. Everybody loves poppers, right? They're great at the tailgate. They're great at the hunting camp. But I have a little different take on them. No jalapeno, no cream cheese. I'm gonna turn a cheeseburger into a popper. All American, great snack, and we're ready to go. All right, to start with, you're gonna need a pound of venison. This here is about a pound of elk, mixed with maybe 80% elk, 20% pork. I like to get a little fat in mine, it helps it hold together. You can use deer, you can use antelope. This is a great use for waterfowl, ground goose breast, mixed with a little fat, also good. So we're gonna add a couple more ingredients in here, not very many, wrap them in bacon. They'll be in the grill in no time, and you'll be enjoying them in just a few short minutes. All right, so you're gonna want about a cup of cheese, shredded cheese. This is a little three cheese mixer, some cheddar, some Colby Jack, I think a little Monterey in there. All right, pound of venison, probably gonna take about a cup of these. French fried onions, man, these add some great flavor. They also help bind that meat together, so it doesn't fall apart on you. So we're gonna shake about a, you know, let's call that a cup or so in there. Cast iron pan works great. If you're angry, take out some aggressions here. All right, we're gonna dump those in there with the cheese, with the ground beef. Oh, ground elk, I should say. Call that good. That looks like about right. We can always add a little bit more if we need to. Now it's time to get messy. Get in there with your hands, mix this up. Don't wanna work it too much because that actually takes a little bit of moisture out of there, but you need to get it really well mixed. You just wanna make sure everything's mixed up in there real nice. Turned into some delicious little mini, mini sliders that we're gonna Put on the grill. All right, now I just need to slice this bacon in half. If it's a big long slice, you might go thirds. I'm gonna go ahead and do half, that way we'll have plenty of bacon for every popper. All right, now we're gonna start rolling. So what you wanna do is you just wanna take, I don't know, not quite a golf ball, a little smaller probably, bit of meat, and you just wanna roll that into a nice meatball. But, we're not gonna leave it as a meatball. We're actually gonna smash it down flat into like almost like a mini patty. Then I'm gonna take a slice of bacon here and wrap that. Look at that, miniature bacon cheeseburger that will fit right in your mouth. All right, there's one. We got a ways to go. All right, back to rolling. All right, we got about 12 or 15 of these wrapped up. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you want on here, some, some Cajun, maybe something spicy, however you want it. I actually got a little uh, all-purpose seasoning from Camp Chef. We're just gonna give these a nice coat. Give it a little kick that way. All right, I've got a medium hot grill here, and we're just gonna load these up. You can hear them sizzle there as I put them on. All right, the reason that we uh, made those into patties and not just straight meatballs is that way the middle will get cooked a little better by the time the bacon is also done. We wanna keep an eye on these because flare-ups do happen. All this bacon grease. All right, these look like they are ready to go. The bacon's cooked. The burger's definitely cooked. We're gonna take these off the grill, move them inside, garnish them a little bit. So we just pulled these off the grill. Our cheeseburger poppers wrapped in bacon. Absolutely delicious as is. However, you can use some sort of dipping sauce as well. You like ketchup, that's great. Mustard, ranch, whatever you need. A little barbecue sauce is excellent on these, but I'm gonna use a little bit of horseradish mustard drizzled over the top, and then we're gonna eat. Mm -hmm. 